Bismuth is naturally diamagnetic, meaning it repels all magnetic forces. This allows the magnet to be suspended between the two bismuth plates. The magnet is actually trapped in the magnetic field between the bismuth, and even when reaching in there and moving it around, you can see that the magnet still wants to come back to center no matter what I do to the vehicle. Okay, to build this project, you're going to need a few items. First of all, you're going to need magnets. I find that these quarter inch by 1 16th inch thick magnets are the best magnets for levitation. Bigger magnets don't seem to work as well as they have a tendency to tilt. You're also going to need a lifter magnet. I find the 8th inch disc magnets are great. The diameter is almost irrelevant. In fact, almost any magnet should do. You're also going to need bismuth. You're going to pour two bismuth chunks into billets. You'll need about a half a pound of bi uh, you'll need about a half a pound of bismuth, which I'll show you how to make these later in the video. Of course, you'll also need to make formers. In my case, I used 1 8 inch acrylic, but plywood works great. You can go up to half inch and it'll work fine. My center hole is one and a half inches in diameter, and then the outer holes are only a quarter inch. You'll need two plates like that and one plate with only a quarter inch hole in the middle to lower your lifting magnet down into. You'll also need quarter 20 bolts. I made mine about six inches long, but five inches seems to be enough for this project. And of course, you're going to need some type of adhesive. My favorite adhesive is Homax Welder Contact Adhesive, but in a pinch, Goop, Shugu, or other similar glues work great. You're going to add it around the ring here and insert your billet and let it dry. Now the way this works is fairly simple. I've got a bismuth billet here and below with the magnet in between. I also have this strong magnet up on top. Its job is to release the gravitational force so that the magnet can levitate. The magnet then is repelled by both of the bismuth billets. Of course, all of this is adjustable. These billets have adjustable height, as well as this magnet having adjustable height as well. This is the key to getting it to work. The closer the two billets are together, the easier it is to get the magnet to levitate. Also, you're going to need to finally adjust this, because the only purpose of this magnet is to take off the weight of gravity. Okay, to make this work, we just need a few items. First, we're going to need some stainless steel measuring cups. Actually, any stainless steel container will do. You just need to be able to melt down the bismuth. Another thing you're going to need is something to make the billet. I find the bottom of an empty soda can works great. It can be just about any metallic container. You just have to be sure you're able to remove the billet from the actual former. So the can may get destroyed in the process and well, these are cheap and they work fine. You're also going to need a junk spoon. This is going to remove the slag as you don't want many impurities in your bismuth. And I said junk, don't use a nice one. Granted, it does usually clean off, but uh, your wife might get angry at you for using her good silverware. You're also going to need some kind of glove, whether it's an of glove, a welding glove, or just an oven mitt. Any of these do fine. And then last but not least, you're going to need some bismuth. Bismuth can be found online many places. eBay is a great source. I personally found mine at Roto Metals. It costs between $20 and $25 a pound. And for this experiment, you will need about half a pound. Now, the first thing you have to do is simply melt the bismuth in your stainless steel cup. And I'll show you what that looks like. Place the bismuth in your cup. Mix it around to be sure all of it is nice and liquefied. If you've got a lot of buildup on the top, simply take your spoon and scrape that away as this is slag. And you do not want this in your billet. Now we're ready for the pour. This is a point where you probably should be wearing safety glasses or at least be at a safe distance from the can. Take your bismuth and slowly pour it into the top of the can. 
After a few minutes, it's time to remove the billet from the can. As you can see, it's stuck in there pretty good, so we might have to deform the can a little bit to get it out. And there you have it, one complete billet. Now you'll notice that this doesn't sit perfectly flat. It has a little risen edge. We need to knock that down. You can knock that down with either sandpaper or simply go outside on the concrete and rub it around. After knocking down, your former should look like this and lay reasonably flat. Okay, to make levitation start, simply lower your lifting magnet down until it lifts the magnet up down below. And there you have it, magnetic levitation.